Hello, all you beautiful people out there. My name is Emmanuel, and welcome to the complete guide for getting a 5 star rated store in Roblox Retail Tycoon 2. Having a high star rating is crucial for getting more customers to visit your store. A 5 star rated store gains about twice the amount of customers compared to a 3 star rated store, and getting a 5 star rated store isn't as difficult as you might believe. A 5 star rating store also should in theory give your customers more money so you will get both more customers and your customers will also most likely have more money to spend in your store. And it only requires a few simple tweaks. Today I'll explain to you thoroughly how you can get a 5 star rated store yourself. The order we will go through the different rating types is decoration, crowdedness, shelter, cleanliness and at last queue sizes. So, the first rating we will be looking at is decoration. In order to get 5 star rated decoration, you need to look at the, the decoration filter in the build menu and make the areas your customers are walking on green. The easiest way to get 5 star rated decoration is to place a few fountains at different places in your store. The reason being that fountains give you lots of decoration and that one fountain alone can give you a small store 5 star rated decoration. Like, one fountain alone can give a small store 5 star decoration. Using hanging plants as decoration is also another way of making smaller areas good decorated without messing up the walking area for your customers. You could also go for the more advanced way by designing your store with varied decoration across the store, but as long as your entire store has a consistent green light where the customers are walking, you will have 5 star rated decoration, no matter if it looks good or not. Oh, P.S. Your store your storage can have poor rated decoration, only because no customers are walking there. So as long as your customers can't see it, it doesn't matter, you can be as red as you want. So, the second and most difficult rating to properly understand is crowdedness. Crowdedness is a bit tricky, but it's basically the easiest rating once fully understood. Using a crowdedness filter in the build menu, you can see some areas being red. These areas represent crowd areas, and therefore need to be fixed. In order to get a 5 star rated crowdedness, you need to keep at least two square open area at all places in the store. In larger stores, that open area might have to be three squares in the most crowd areas. You should also possibly have several entrances to your store in order to prevent your customers from walking into each other in the doorways. The same principle goes for staircases if they also end up being crowded around the top and bottom. One-way staircases can help you to split the customers from walking into each other at the top and bottom. I usually use those. P.S. If your store doesn't have perfect crowdedness, just check the filter and qu you quickly see where the problems are. It is not any more difficult than that. Crowdedness is actually very simple. The third rating, also, in the theory, the easiest, but often ends up being the most difficult, is shelter. In order to get 5 star rated shelter, you need to have a ceiling above your entire store, as well as walls around it. If you have different open walk-in areas in the store on the outside, those areas might be the reason for your store having poorly rated shelter. A tip is to use edge pieces around your parking slots and every other outside area your customers are walking on. Edge pieces, as well as fences, half walls, etc. all count as a full wall. So having edge pieces instead of walls in your store actually gives you the same rated shelter. What I usually do in new stores is to use edge pieces instead of walls, mainly because it saves me some money to spend on other more useful things. I also sometimes build a huge glass roof on top of my entire store area, including parking slots, to give customers a ceiling over their head. It sounds a bit weird though, but in the end, just build a full store and your shelter will naturally have a rating of 5 stars. And if it doesn't, just try to build some ceilings here and there and it might help. The fourth rating, which has also recently been added to the game, is cleanliness. Cleanliness is all about having garbage cans covering your entire store. Using the cleanliness filter, you can see the areas your garbage cans are covering. As long as everything is covered, there won't be any garbage thrown on the ground at all. Then, you just need to empty the cans yourself or have a janitor to do it for you. The janitor also needs a dumpster to dump the garbage they have picked up from the garbage cans. The dumpster negatively affects decoration, but you can simply just place a few plants around it, for example some hanging plants, and the dumpster will have no consequences at all. 
The cleanliness is the only active rating in your store, which means it requires some someone to constantly make sure it is doing well. But as long as you have one or more janitors, you should have 5 star rated cleanliness. P.S. You don't even need a trash can to keep your store clean. But it is definitely more efficient to empty a couple of garbage cans than clean all the spills by hand. The fifth and last rating we have is Q sizes. Q sizes is either the easiest or the most difficult rating of them all. Very simple. If you have a store selling lots of large items like furniture, electronics, etc., there is usually always 5 star rated Q sizes. But as fast as you sell a many small items in your store, like foods, clothing, etc., you will most likely need several checkouts to keep the rating up. I personally suggest having self checkouts because it doesn't require a player nor a cashier to keep it going. But in order to have self checkouts with 5 star rated Q sizes when selling small items, it will most likely require more of them. If you struggle with this Q sizes rating with auto checkouts, either buy more of them or just get some checkout registers instead, since they work a lot faster, especially when your cashier levels up. A max level cashier on a checkout register works three times as efficient as a self checkout. But you must remember that it costs more money to pay the staff in the long run. It costs $1,200 for every hour you grind per cashier you own. That means that you start to lose money after just one hour with the cashier if you didn't choose a self-checkout instead. So, for AFK purposes, I suggest having lots of self-checkouts, as, as well as just selling less of the small items. Large items like furniture are an easier as well as a more efficient way of earning money, so I suggest sticking to the larger items because it also makes it a lot easier for you when it comes to Q sizes rating. In the end, having a 5 star rated store might sound a bit difficult and advanced at first, but it is in fact not as difficult as most anticipate. It is in fact to just pay attention to each rating by itself with the rating menu, as well as the filters in the build menu. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you found it quite helpful and if you did make sure to like the video and you should also subscribe to the channel in order to see similar content as well as other content in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.